Hi Maggie, thanks for speaking to us today. I was just wondering, could you tell us when did you first uh, join Western? I joined Western in the mid to late 60s. Okay, quite a while ago then. So, could, we've seen the lovely image of the old clubhouse and, and everybody's been talking about it and you're one of the few people who was actually here when the clubhouse was, was in existence. Could you tell us any of your early memories of the club at that time? Yep. Um, I remember the old clubhouse very fondly. It was a lovely old building. It was wooden and it was quite big. It was on two storeys, changing rooms down below, clubhouse above, with a fantastic veranda that went right round the clubhouse and overlooked court one. A bit similar to what's happening now, um, 60 years later. Um, <clears throat> there were seven courts at Western at that time. Mm -hmm. Four at the front and three at the back. Uh -huh. And the one at the far end, everything was moved across towards Highland Road a bit more, but the one at the far end was a singles court. Mm -hmm. And there was a coach who used to come every day in his white flannels and his long white shirt. Um, his name was Arthur McDowell. He used to do coaching in the end singles court. Um, but everybody wore white for tennis in those days. All right, yeah. And I remember uh, on Sunday afternoons, there used to be a, what they called an American tournament. And it was on um, every Sunday, two o'clock. But the thing I remember was the, the lawn that stretched out from the clubhouse down towards the back lane with a flagpole at the end. And it was uh -huh. set out with lovely tables and chairs and um, tablecloths, of course. And it would be afternoon tea of the most scrumptious cakes. And oh, it was just brilliant. And I was a helper, so I used to get lots of cakes and afternoon <laughs> tea. Anyway, uh -huh. um, so very fond memories of being at Western those times. And also, what I loved about it was they were very encouraging towards the juniors, as they still are. And I think that's one of the the big reasons why this club is such a success is that the senior members do encourage juniors and junior coaching and uh, play of all levels, social play, team play, all that competitive stuff as well as just ordinary members playing whenever they want. Maggie, thanks so much for sharing that with us. It's, it's great to hear and, and on our special day, hopefully we'll recreate some of those memories for you. Thank you. Thanks very much.